In this video we will discuss the life of Saint Cecilia the first incorrupt saint. For our video on all incorrupt saints and video on Sister Wilhelmina visit our channel. Saint Cecilia the patroness of musicians. She was born in an affluent Roman family and was given in marriage to a young nobleman named Valerian. During her wedding ceremony she was said to have sung in her heart to God. Before the consummation of her marriage, she told her husband about her vow of virginity and she had an angel protecting her. Her husband's baptism. Valerian asked to see the angel as proof, and Cecilia told him to get baptized in order to see the angel. After getting baptized, Valerian was able to see an angel by her side. When Valerian's brother, Tiburtius, heard of the angel and his brother's baptism, he also got baptized. The brothers then dedicated their lives to burying the saints who were murdered by the early Christian persecutors. Persecution of her husband. Her husband and brother-in-law who are also considered as saints now, were both asked to renounce their religion which they refused. They were persecuted and both were beheaded and buried along the Appian Way. For learning about Appian Way First Ancient Superhighway, please watch our channel video. Her Lifetime Saint Cecilia spent her time preaching and in her lifetime was able to convert over 400 people, most of whom were baptized by Pope Urban. It is said that there was a church dedicated to Saint Cecilia in Rome in the 5th century, in which Pope Symmachus held the council in 500. Execution of Saint Cecilia She was later arrested and condemned to be executed. She was shut in for one night and one day, in a vapor bath with the aim of suffocating her but she remained unharmed. Later, an executioner was sent to behead her, who hesitated during his blows and partially severed her head, leaving her to die on the pavement. Death of Saint Cecilia She laid there for three days and continued to pray to God and turned her face to the floor and remained praying in that position for three days and nights. The early Christians clothed her body and placed it in a coffin in the same position in which she had expired. She was laid to rest in the catacomb of Saint Callistus by the future Pope Urban. Sculpture of how she was found was made by a famous Italian artist as shown in the picture here. Exhumation of Body One of the most documented exhumations of any saint occurred in 1599 during the restoration of the Basilica. The cardinal had the sarcophagi opened in the presence of witnesses of unquestionable integrity. The mortal remains of Saint Cecilia were found in the same position and condition in which the saint had died almost 1500 years ago. The Sainthood Due to a holy reverence, no further examination was made. She was determined to be the first of all incorrupt saints. They also reported a mysterious and delightful flower-like odor which proceeded from the coffin. Saint Cecilia's remains were transferred to Cecilia's titular church in Trastevere and placed under the high altar. Her Legacy The first record of a music festival in her honor was held at Evreux in Normandy in 1570. The Accademia Nazionale di Santa Cecilia in Rome is one of the oldest musical institutions in the world. It was founded by the papal bull, Ration Congruit, issued by Sixtus V in 1585, which invoked two saints prominent in Western musical history, Gregory the Great, after whom Gregorian chant is named, and Saint Cecilia, the patron saint of music. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video and do not forget to subscribe.